Okay, I um, thought I'd show you how I made this Yuba Mundo rain cover for the kids. Um, so the Yuba Mundo is the bike, and uh, Yuba doesn't put out a rain cover yet for the kids, so just packed one together. So I thought I'd show you how to make this particular one. I'm sure you could make different versions of this. So yeah, it's got enough room for all the kids in there. Um, their heads fit in, no worries. You could probably work it with um, adults too if you didn't mind crouching down a little bit. So this is, um, there's a frame, there's a metal frame in there. And this is a double pram cover over the top. And this is just a piece of plastic that you can get from like a hardware store. Um, the pram cover cost 25 bucks. The metal frame, it's aluminium. It's made out of this stuff. It's just like aluminium flat bar, it's cool. This one's um, 12, sorry, three millimeters by 12 millimeters. Uh, I don't know, it's 12 millimeters wide, anyway. You can also get this stuff, which is like a ho hollow tubing type stuff. I reckon that might actually work better. Because this is a little bit, it's a little wobbly, but it's all right. This stuff's not wobbly at all. Anyway, I use the flat stuff. And um, yeah, so that costs probably about, it's about $40 of aluminum bar. $25 for the um, pram cover. It's probably about $15 worth of bolts and stuff. It's probably about, oh, maybe about, 10 to 15 dollars worth of uh, velcro that's probably about it so it's probably i don't know if you did it a bit more smart than i did you could probably make it for about 60 bucks or if you got it second hand or pram cover for free you could probably do it for about 30 bucks anyway i'll take it apart so you can kind of see how it works um so it's quite cool because the um the bottom skirt comes off so um I'll try and do it quickly so you don't get too bored. So the skirt's all held on by, um, could you come over here a bit? The skirt's held on by Velcro. It's, it's a heavy duty uh, Velcro brand Velcro, so the proper stuff. Um, you can get all weather stuff. I didn't get that, but if I had the opportunity, I would have got that. This seems all right. Um, and it's all held on by that, so you can just stick it onto the bike. It's really, it's good. It works really well. So then the skirt just comes off like so. The boring bit, sorry. Yeah. So then it just comes off with all the Velcro pieces. It's held on pretty much just by a flat Velcro. And then you can just fold that up. It folds up pretty neat and tidy. Um, and it stores pretty, pretty easily. If you fold it up neatly, it looks better, but anyway. It's pretty neat. And then uh, the good thing about this is that um, this you can actually just use this like this. If it was a light shower, you could easily just use it like this. Um, it all straps down with Velcro straps. They're just, again, just stuck on. So a light shower, no worries. If your kid's got uh, like waterproof pants on, probably be fine. And they can see out and everything. And then when it stops raining or if, you know, uh, even on a cold day, it'd be quite good for keeping them warm. It's not too bad where we live, but if you're in a cold area, it just folds back. And you know, if you're a bit more careful, you could probably fold it up a bit neater than that. And then the kids can just sit there just like normal. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's out of the way. It's pretty good. You can actually leave it on there permanently if you wanted to. We probably will when it comes to winter, but we don't really need to at the moment during summer. And if you just come over here, I'll just show you how this works. So, I've got, um, I don't know if you can get a close up of that, but there's just a bolt through there. I just put a cap over the end, over the wing nut over the end. Can you see that? There's a wing nut there. Um, oops. Yeah, there's a wing nut. And there's just a bolt in there that holds it all together with a few washers in between. So if you wanted to take it off, you could just, just whip that off pretty quickly, whip the other side off. And then the whole thing just comes off. So if you want to store it. Uh, but yeah, I'll, that's pretty much it. And then so it's pretty much as easy as that. Grab the wing nuts. So then, yeah, just putting it back on, it'd just be a case of just doing those, putting those wing nuts in. Lost the other wing nut, but anyway. Straight over, bing bang boom. That's it, so yeah. DIY Yuba rain cover for the kids. It's detachable, it can stay on, it won't get in the way. It actually provides a little bit of area where you can 
You can actually um, store stuff in there if you wanted to. Waterproof, like a little waterproof area, which works quite well. Yeah, you need to have the um, monkey bars to make it work, obviously. So these are the monkey bars. You probably know about that if you know about Uvas. Um, yeah, I don't know how you do it without a uh, monkey bar, but yeah, that's how I do it. Oh yeah, and these holes, I didn't even have to drill these. They're already in there, so yeah, it all works pretty well. If you want any more information about it, just um, message me and I'll let you know. But that's it. Happy riding.